Hi there, I'm Peter Russell from supertax.ca. Welcome to another one of my video blogs. Today's topic is going to be a walkthrough of an example of how to calculate the actual federal and provincial income taxes payable to a Canadian individual resident in Ontario. Now, the current top marginal rate for an Ontario resident here in Canada is 46.41%. So, I have chosen an amount of 1.2 million as our taxable income for our individual to show you how close we're going to get to this amount. Now, let's go to the big board. Now, as you can see on my big board calculation of income taxes, we have here taxable income of 1.2 million for this individual. Now, that would normally be reported on line 260 of the T1 General Canadian Income Tax Return. That amount is essentially total income, which is line 150 less deductions such as RSPs, moving, moving costs, support payments, etc., to get you down to net income for tax purposes, then additional deductions such as any applicable loss carry forwards to get, down, get you down to a taxable income of 1.2 million. So we're gonna go with that figure. Now we have to calculate the federal income taxes per margin. The first margin starts at $41,544 and that margin rate is 15%. So 44,544 times 15% is going to be $6,232. Now the second tax bracket federally in Canada is goes all the way up to $83,088 and that rate is 22%. So we got to multiply the difference which is actually the same amount 41,544 times 22%, giving you $9,139. The third bracket goes all the way to 128,800, so the difference between that and the last bracket is $45,712. You multiply that by 26%, which is the third bracket amount, giving you a total tax of 11,885 for that bracket. Now, the fourth bracket here in Canada is 29%, so all the income above 128800 is taxed at 29%. That works out to $1,071,200. We multiply that by 29%, giving us an amount of 310648 giving us a total federal tax balance of $337,904. So, We've now calculated the federal tax on this individual. Now we've got to calculate the Ontario tax. Now Ontario has three margins. The first one is 5.05%. It goes up to 37,774. The second bracket ends at 75,550, and that's the rate for that bracket is 9.15%. All the income above 75,550 is taxed at 11.16%. Okay, so we calculate the first bracket which is 37,774 times 5.05%, giving you $1,907. The second bracket, which works out to another 37,776 of income times 9.15%, $3,456. And the remaining income all the way up to 1.2 million, which is $1,124,450 times 1.16%, gives you $125,488, totaling you Ontario tax of $130,851. So we've calculated the Ontario tax. Now what we got to calculate is the Ontario surtaxes here in Ontario, which works into our calculation. This is quite tricky, and this number here is key because this is in the formula for the Ontario surtax. Now, for the first surtax, surtax number one, you get a thresh, you have a threshold amount which starts at 66,514. The Ontario surtax would be calculated on $66,514 of taxable income would work out to $4,076. We can deduct that from the 138.51. The difference is multiplied by 20% giving you your surtax number one amount for this individual. That works out to $25,355. Now we have a second surtax to worry about. This one kicks in for income after 
$78,361. Now the Ontario surtax that would have been calculated on 78361 is this figure, 5219 You deduct that from your calculated Ontario tax, multiply the difference by 36%, that figure would give you $45,228. So we total the two to give us total Ontario surtax of $70,583. We add up the three, the federal, the Ontario, and the Ontario surtax. They total $539,399. Now let's divide that by our total taxable income of $1.2 million. That gives us 44.95%, or roughly 45%. So we're getting much, much closer to our marginal rate, which I've documented below, which is 46.41%. Sorry, it's starting to wear out there, the six, but that is a six, 46.41. So if you wanted to try an example on your own and you plugged in $2 million, you would probably be above 46%, maybe not right yet, 46.41, but you're getting very, very close to the 46.41%. So this is how we calculate the actual taxes payable for an individual. Now one thing I haven't considered in this example, I've left it out because I don't have enough boardroom to, to, to show you how to calculate the, the deduction of the tax on the non-refundable tax credits that this gentleman would have. Everyone has a basic exemption federally and a basic exemption provincially. Now if, if for this individual, if, if he was located in Ontario, that figure would work out to roughly $2,300. So if you wanted to consider his, his, uh, his basic exemption in this calculation, I would deduct um, from this amount, 539, uh, 339, another $2,300 to get his actual taxes paid with the one non-refundable tax credit that everyone gets. All right. I hope you found this video informative. Um, if you have any questions, Feel free to leave a comment below or you can send me an email at peter at supertax.ca. Look out for my future videos where I'm going to show you how to calculate the actual federal provincial taxes payable when we have to consider dividend income and capital gains income. Thank you very much. Have a great day.